Okay, so I haven't posted anything in a while on sculpting. Uh, I've been, I guess it's been ferment, uh, fertilizing or fermenting in my head to try out taking baby powder uh, and then adding it directly with Elmer's glue. And uh, this is what I got as an experiment. Um, you can see the dish down here. It's actually kind of holding, like I've been, I, I was putting some uh, texture on it. You can see the texture. And it kind of holds the texture pretty good. Uh, even the lines, like if I was going to do creases and skin. And so, uh, you know, I just made the bubble, you know, like scales with uh, a ballpoint pen for the moment. You can you can see how they pop in there, and so with that, uh, I think I'm going to try you, uh, putting it that stuff into um, uh, onto a dinosaur, sculpting a dinosaur out of it, and seeing as it, if it hardens up uh, to like a plastic finish because it looks like you can get a, a decent detail will stay in it, uh, and Elmer's glue and talc or you know, any kind of powder is not all that expensive. So, uh, the over foam, which would be your, you know, bulking out the, pro the process to get most of the bulk of the sculpture. Um, uh, it took a little while to keep thickening it up and, and playing with it in my hand. Uh, as you can see, it'll roll and you can stretch it. So, it's, uh, it might prove to be an interesting combination.